Well, let's talk about the first concept, the concept of inner being and how that relates to sustainable design. When I build these big estate homes, for the most part, the way that, that people look at those is, you know, you kind of have the house and everything around it serves the house, right? So you, you have your lot, you clear everything off, you put your house there, and then you make everything else work for that house. With sustainable design, you turn that completely around, right? You look at the site and you look at the, at the surroundings and you find the way that the house can truly interbe with its surroundings. Because we all know that we're all connected anyway, right? I mean, the house is not this separate entity. It truly is a part of the surroundings and the surroundings are part of the house. And that's the way that you approach sustainable design. So on this project, we've been so fortunate to have a very talented architecture team of Hubble and Hubble based here locally in, in San Diego, Drew Hubble, and then his father, James Hubble, who's also a very famous artist. Many of you may know James Hubble and some of his, his artwork, um, but they're also very talented architects, and they truly understand the concepts of sustainable design. So if you look at these buildings here, they're, they're put together in a semicircle, and they, they face towards the sun. And I love how Drew describes, he said, you know, my buildings are like flowers. They turn towards the sun. And the reason for that is during the winter months, like now when it's cool, you want that wonderful warmth from the sun. And so when the sun is low in the horizon, what happens is if you notice, we have windows and they all face this direction. And the largest windows, like this window right here, you see how big that window is. That's intentional because what we want is we want this wonderful warmth from the sun to come in and warm these buildings during the day. And then at night, we have this super insulated structure. Once the, the sisters close the doors, that warmth will stay inside these structures. Also, the way that the, the roof is oriented as well, because during the summer, when it's hot here, the sun is more directly overhead, and that's why Hubble and Hubble designed these buildings with metal roofs, because the heat from the sun will actually reflect off during the summer months. The buildings are also situated to take advantage of the wonderful breeze that we get, the coastal breeze that comes up the valley here. So you'll notice that there are clear story windows above many of the doors here. And the reason for that is during the summer when things are hot, at night when things cool off, the sisters can open those clear story windows. The hot air will escape. That wonderful cool breeze will come in. And then in the morning when they shut the windows and the doors, our super insulated structure will keep that nice cool air in the buildings.